New 2023 Jeep Avenger unveiled with pure electric power. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Jeep has taken the wraps off its first fully electric car, the new Avenger. We've seen it testing before, but now we can see how the firm's new B-segment SUV will look when it reaches the UK in early 2023. The Jeep Avenger will be the first of four pure electric SUVs from Jeep, with the retro-style Recon, Premium Wagoneer S and an as-yet unnamed fourth making up the rest. The all-electric lineup will help with Jeep's push for electrification as the American firm plans to have an electric version of each of its models and to only sell EVs in Europe by 2030. It will publicly debut at the Paris Motor Show on October 17 this year, which will coincide with pricing announcements. In terms of design, the upcoming Avenger displays plenty of the typical Jeep design traits we've seen on previous test cars with the traditional 7-slat grille, boxy proportions and chunky wheel arches. There will be a fair few competitors to the Avenger in the small electric SUV market. It'll have to contend with the likes of Hyundai's Kona Electric, the Kia Soul EV and rivals from within the Stellantis parent company in the shape of the Peugeot E2008 and Vauxhall mach -E. Unsurprisingly, Jeep has turned to the Stellantis parts bin for the Avenger's platform. It shares the same ECMP architecture as the aforementioned Peugeot and Vauxhall, allowing for full EV and internal combustion powertrains on the CMP platform. Jeep says the Avenger EV will offer up to 249 miles of range, which is 35 miles more than the E2008 and 40 better than the Mach-E. A two-wheel drive Avenger will be available as will a four-wheel drive version, the first of its kind on a CMP platform. There's no word on charging capacity yet, but with the appearance of the 50 kWh Stellantis battery and almost certainty, then we can expect it to take on an 80% charge in around 30 minutes from a 100 kW DC rapid charger. There will also be internal combustion engine versions of the Avenger. We've seen them testing before and we expect the Stellantis-derived 1.2-liter petrol PureTech units to feature along with the same exterior styling aside from a small exhaust protruding from the rear. Jeep has been coy on the Avenger's interior, but has stated it'll receive its latest Uconnect infotainment system, just don't expect the 12-inch central screen and 10.3-inch driver's display set up from the new Wagoneer. Production of the new Avenger will take place at the Tiki plant in Poland, with mild hybrid and pure electric powertrains in store for the new car. Despite it occupying a similar space to the aging Renegade, Jeep says the Avenger will be positioned under the Renegade in its model lineup. What does the new Jeep EV have to beat? These are the best electric SUVs on sale right now. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.